Study a tree from all sides and you'll notice the tick effect. The tree's natural tendency to grow towards the light means the branches on one side of the tree grow upward, while on the other side, they grow outwards. If we use the direction of the tick as a compass point, it's most likely to be pointing south. The effect of the wind on trees can also help us find our way. The windward edge of any clump of trees will tend to grow shorter than the sheltered side. This creates a wedge shape. If we know in advance the direction of the local prevailing winds, the wedge provides a clear arrow on the landscape and a natural indicator of direction. Another useful navigational pointer can be found in the trunk of a felled tree. If you follow the rings of the tree towards the middle, you'll find the heart. This is the point where the rings are smallest, and it will tend to be nearer the southern edge of the stump. Read more about the clues and signs hidden in nature and how to spot them in my Natural Navigator series of books.